Hi guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing the debt update video that I promised you guys a few weeks ago. Um, I do apologize for not uploading neither on this channel nor my second channel. Um, I've just been going through like a really rough patch like with my at-home life and like mentally and things like that. I just haven't been feeling very well so I didn't want to come on here if I wasn't really in the mood to. So um, anyways, I'm trying to work past this little bump in the road, but um, let me go ahead and get a sheet of paper so that we can start looking at my debt numbers. And I do apologize for having to write at an angle. I can't write like straight, um, but the last time I did one of these was back in October of 2020. So we're going to go ahead and write down my numbers that I had back in October to see how much I've paid off since then. So the debts that I had were Shell, Exxon, Discover, Bank of America, Best Buy, and this is all credit card debt you guys, um, Capital One. Alright, so back in October for Shell, I owed $459 with 66 cents. Exxon was at $772 and 68 cents. Discover was at $1,559 and 61. Bank of America, $1,723. Best Buy was at $4,097.41. Capital One was at $7,353.35. So I'm going to go ahead and add up all of my numbers from October to get my grand total. So I hope you guys can see. So 45966. 772.68, So we can see that the um, grand total of debt that I owed in October was $15,966.70. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to this side so that I can write um, my current debt numbers. So June 2021. For Shell, my current balance is $0.00. Exxon is at zero dollars as well. Discover is at 1,639.72 and I can already see that this one went up. Ask me why or how, I don't know. Obviously, I used the car. What did I use it on? I have no idea. So that's awesome. Not really. Okay, Bank of America is at $1,268.82. My Best Buy is standing at $3,527.92. Capital One is at $5,901.66. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to add up my numbers to get my grand total of debt that I owe. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So 1639.72 plus 1268.82.35.27.92 and 5901.66. So we can see my grand total is 1200. I'm sorry, 1000. Uh, um, my grand total is 
$338.12. So I'm going to write my total here. $12,338.12. And I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to subtract this with this to get the amount of debt that I have paid off. So I'm going to have to go off camera for a little bit. So 15, 9, 6, 6, 70 minus 12,338 and 12 cents. So I have since paid off $3,628.58. So let me go ahead and write this before I forget. And you guys, I am really, really proud of this number. I wish it could be higher, but... um. You guys should know that I have not been back to work yet. As some of you guys know, I was pregnant. Um, I started my maternity leave January 27th of this year. And I have not returned back to work. So I haven't had like a real income or like a steady income since January 27th. Um, so all the stuffings that you guys saw me do were either earnings from my Etsy shop when I had my Etsy or from my business my website or um i did do one with my tax return so that's all the money like anything else was extra and i'm really really proud of this number so october november december january so three months of like an actual income or like a steady income and then plus my little side hustle that I have with my business, I've been able to pay off this amount of money, which is just amazing to me. Um, like I said, I wish it was higher. I haven't gone back to work um, because I didn't want to go back to work and then have to take another leave um, and like risk not getting it approved because um, you guys know my dad passed away and we are going to be taking his ashes to Mexico. So I didn't want to go back for a little bit and then have to go on a leave again maybe it not get approved and then i lose my job and stuff like that so i just haven't gone back but yeah you guys i'm so proud of my progress and i hope that everybody that's following along on my journey is proud and i hope that every single one of you guys that are on your journey whether it's to pay off debt or to um build your savings or whatever your goals are i hope that you guys are crushing your goals and i hope you guys can sometimes take a step back and look at how far you've gotten because honestly it felt like i wasn't really making any progress but to actually put pen to paper and put these numbers in front of me i'm shocked like i said because it feels like you're not making any progress but what you need to do is take a step back look at how far you guys have came and it's just so amazing and i have to say that I want to be the same exact support system for you guys as you guys are for me. So if you ever want to like talk to me in the comments or you want to, you know, ask me questions, please feel free to do so. I want to be there for you guys just as much as you guys are there for me. But I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> um, so I hope everybody is having an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing month. I hope that this year continues to bless every single one of you guys um i'm rambling again so with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye